get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's cool. You know, so I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to cure zero. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I and white? I didn't fall asleep, and Any that light? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victor. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw My little camera bag is battered, right? but still kicking. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any- If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation and any one of you could I can't do that believe I still have this pencil case I should upgrade to the 21st century but I like it old school what if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence she had a brilliant eye shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition and Max has a gift of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. 
submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard on the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating. By putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no matter who wins, Hi, Kate. this is just a bump oh. on the bigger road. Hi, Max. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody you seem to quiet today. Just thinking too much. Everybody. I had my moment in the camera, honey. Everybody should have that oh, chance. Oh, totally. Right? I only want to share whatever I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Obviously Blackwell spent bang. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. 
I was about to. You Welcome always... to the real world. Cute. Then I might send you a special picture. Oh, I'm not paying $150 for it. Because Max a wants everybody to see how hip she is. What's the point she plays it so shy. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. It looks like she's been gone for months. These missing persons posters are popping up. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. I wonder what actually happened to her. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Black Wolf sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. This poster must drive people to have sex. I'm good to flow, thanks. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? 
It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I've got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us in I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? Why Arbus? Because... Can you I actually an did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human the human time machine. Black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, Diane. don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images Keep of Bowser. Spaces. My old broken camera like totally is new again. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If, saw humanity is torture, if right? he does again, I'll know this is for real. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Portrait has been popular I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl selfie. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our intro. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Louis after class. A French painter. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> what if I rewind the again and give him the right answer? Since you've captured our interest... The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. 
you can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for What the are you waiting for? Go! ...is turning in a photo, so... You see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you... Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson. These future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. You know I don't tease. I hate that stuff. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to I do! I need a hammer to break so it open! Sick of people tro Tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your pump. In hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott 
waving a gun around in the girl's room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girl's room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Oh yeah? Bring it. What's your first move going to be? Uh, jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Go, Justin. Check out the... I came to nose slide, but I'd love to see somebody do a tray flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh, ah. oh. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Hi, 
Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. That looks like a high fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? I love aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Matson, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Good. Good. Best portrait ever.
clever. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. I need to go there and grab... Come on, Logan, bring it, Brock. Yeah! flash drive. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Nice, bro. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Awesome. Mm. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. <gasps> what the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps.
Okay, let's see if this works. Sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Sweet. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you yeah. want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. Awesome. It was. But there'll be another. Oh, well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. Yeah. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. Dude. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and... and the go fuck your selfie. That was me, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Victoria probably Hurry, Courtney. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Man, people here are merciless. Room 217? No way. Welcome to Black Hill. Blackwell isn't that big, but... Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Go Miss Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Tr Juliet, extreme reporter. How sad, I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up.
Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the Here's flash drive from Dana. Here's my go-to source Dana's for room. instant photo inspiration. Daniel has so much talent. I hope I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. That's the only tourist picture. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. This is so stupid. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? You are what ridiculous. didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? Out, you never talk. Know. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her mouth. Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here, and this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. 
And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. There's that damn flash drive. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. This is both sad and pathetic. It would be a cool sticker without the words. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. I... was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other... Deadbeat Dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Who then? And you don't have to tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. I assume Dana kept the appointment. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. This is both sad and pathetic. Good lord, Dana really was on her own. This shit. Ow! That hurt! Damn, I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. 
Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and... I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bass. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. Max, get your ass over here. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw? Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. 
You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white, plus babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch! What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! <laughs> Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <sighs> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? I have no idea. I know he's a press card. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. 
You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Broken? Oh, man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. I think this junk swallowed her discs. Hey, give me that! Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. 
My dad, you, and Rachel, gone. Can you put on some music now? Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. I didn't expect anything this wistful from Chloe. Maybe it reminds her of Rachel. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolf, but here I am. Uh-oh. The prices are late on their bills. Joyce looks happy. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. Joyce still works at the diner. And Chloe's new dad is a security guard. This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. Dog tags, sweet. David Matson. Act, react, or die, a 21st century survival guide. Whoa, apocalypse self-help. Aw, Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. Joyce always loved her mail-order catalogs of useless crap. These books have not been touched since the last decade. Nothing's changed, except for me and Chloe. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. Come on, open it, chicken. Hold on, and I'm not chicken. Prove it. You drink first, Max. No way. It was your idea, Chloe. Whatever. Give me that bottle. Well? Tasty. Very tasty. Here, I, I want a sip. Sorry, 
This is not for kids. Don't be greedy. Give me some. Oh shit, the carpet! There's wine all over. What do we do now? My parents are coming. Cover it up! If I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass. Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. Joyce still works at Two Wheels Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Mad skills, Max. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Shit! Butterfingers! Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Yes, score. This must belong to Chloe's stepdad. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore.
She looks super happy. I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh... No way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you are a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared too, I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Like who? Like anybody. Stop stalling, sister. The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Chloe, are you up there? Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Chloe? I'm coming! What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing! Give me a minute! Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second! My bra is stuck. I'm not- Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. 
Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait! Is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? I'm sorry. That was my joint. Well, well. I don't like strangers in my home. Especially dopers. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Because you're such a badass, Max, let me show you my new toy. I'm Price. Chloe Price. Bang! Jesus, put that thing down! Chillax, sister. It's not even loaded. Yet. I thought you believed in gun control. Yes, I believe I should control the gun. It's the men who need to be checked. You trust Nathan or David? Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. Awesome sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke! Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. They haven't updated this sign since the 1980s. People can be such pigs. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. How long has that been here? Clearly, 
The Bigfoots are everywhere. Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. Oh my god, I forgot all about this. Too bad I can't rewind that far back. Sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. You're in a good mood. Seeing my step dork get played makes me happy. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwall students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it! He's so hella fucking paranoid! I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny? If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Oh no! Not again! Why is this happening to me? Why am I here again?
Chloe still up there? I have to find out. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had this same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. <gasps> what the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. <laughs> 